All right, welcome everyone to the grand final of the Admirals Cup. There's a $500 only one tournament for the weekend. I'll show you guys how the bracket's looking. We're in the final. So ACCM beat Doubt 3-2, Winchester beat Fire 3-0, then ACCM 3-0 at Winchester, quite impressive. Uh, I beat Warrior 3-0, I beat Hera 3-0, so we're in the final against ACCM. And Cosmo took a game from Hera as well the other day. So now we're in the final, we'll be a best of seven. Uh, settings are Grand Melee maps. I'm gonna start drafting for the final. At the comma, Fish and Fish, let's do it. Arena. Gold Rush. He picks all the annoying maps to play. I don't want to play any of these maps to Arabia. I don't. I really don't like Gold Rush these days. I think I'm good at the map. I just don't like to play it. Also, at the comma, I think I'm fine. I played that map fine, but I just don't like it. Ringer reads. Ooh, spicy. This is M40. Not impossible. And Northern Isles. And Frigid Lake. All right. Who picks first? I pick first. Uh, Spank humans. Get rid, get rid of some tricky sieves, let's say. Might ban poles. He took Burgundians away. What do I want to leave open so he has to choose? I want to leave... Actually, I want to leave all good sieves open. I want to leave good sieves open so it's harder for him to decide. Then I always get... Let's get rid of Gujaras because they're tricky. Mm, let's just leave everything open. Let's get rid of Aztecs. Hindustan is... That's actually really tough to decide what to go for. I feel like I have to go poles. Poles are flexible. I can use them on multiple maps. Let's do it. Iranians. Probably for Frigid Lake, you'd imagine. Japanese probably for fish and fish. We have Ring of Reeds as well. So I do Bohemians and Turks. No, Portuguese. I want to take away an arena. So actually, I can leave Turks and Bohemians open. He might go for both though. Let's see. We're, we're fine. We'll leave it open for now. But I want to play on Gold Rush or Atacama for that matter. Franks maybe? Franks or Khmer? Franks. He took Turks and Bohemians. That's Arena and Reeds for him then. I need to decide where I want to use Portuguese first of all. Then I need to decide after that what I want to play on Reeds. Can Britons deal with Bohemians on Ring of Reeds? What needs to do sounds scary. And Gauls for Arena, it's an option. I'm considering Portuguese on Arena. I need Persians though for Rigid Lake. He took Bengalis. <laughs> I don't have sales left for the clown maps. Malay are still Malay, right? I've heard rumors that Malay are still Malay. Should we find out if Malay are Malay still? Let's find out if Malay are still Malay. So on uh, Ring of Reeds, we're gonna use Portuguese. Actually, do I want a Portuguese there? Rigid Lake, we have Persians, Atacama, Flexible, probably Franks, Fish and Fish, I haven't decided yet, Arena. I mean, Poles could be Arena Civ as well. Huh, are we using Poles on Arena, maybe? Finals of a Tourney and Pipe Experiment with Malay? It's not experiment, dude. I, I've had plenty of joyful experiences over the years with Malay. We could go Britons now as a Flexible Civ. Or Dravidians, double range opening on Fish Fish, maybe. Okay, I've made up my mind. Mines for Fish and Fish, Gold Rush. Shit, what do we have for Gold Rush? <laughs> A uh, pulse for Gold Rush. Wait, what the hell is my save for Arena? Oh yeah, Malay. That's what I currently have. Could also do Khmer on Fish and Fish. Feels like an uphill battle against Japanese no matter what, pretty much, but... Like, this one is locked, for sure. This one I think is locked. I think I locked Malay on Arena. Maybe Khmer on Gold Rush. Or what about Khmer on Atacama? Franks, Arabia. Let's see what he has. So I think for him it's gonna be... Fish and Fish is mines against Japanese. Atacama will be Franks against Suns. Gold Rush. Pulse against... Wait, what's the save on Gold Rush? That's a question mark for me. Persians versus Lithuanians. Then again, he has Byzantines as well. So he might use Lithuanians somewhere else. And Byzantines on Frigid Lake. He uses Huns on Arabia and... I don't feel like he has a natural Arabia save. I don't really know what his Gold Rush save is either. Like, is he gonna use Bengalis on Gold Rush? Maybe he uses Turks or Bohemians on a different map and Bengalis some... Bengalis could also be used on like Ring of Reeds and Turks could be used somewhere else. I put Franks twice? Oh shit, you're right. Oh, but I was thinking I'm gonna use Khmer here, right? That's how I wanted it. I, I'm a bit confused by his civ pick, his civ picks, but they will they will clear themselves up once we get start playing. All right, bye chat. Okay, there's Lithuanians here. <clears throat> then I don't know. It's probably Byzantines for like Atacama. Maybe Byzantines. Maybe he switches up his plan on. Uh, what's it face? What's it face? Maybe he has a different plan for. Or, um, I don't even remember what's the name of the map. Fish and Fish is the name. Oh, 
Yeah, he's using his first pick here, so if we're able to snipe this game and win this game, that is huge. This person is a late, late pick on my side. I would do two fishing ships and then a lumber camp. I think uptime is really important here. We need a lumber camp next. Do I even do a loom? I think we have to. Okay, so his dock just went up, right? That's his first fishing ship. Unless I'm misreading this. I'm wondering if he will commit heavy on water or not. My question is second dock or not. He actually left his scout is out of position. That can be annoying here. No, I took a hit. Let's see how fast his uptime is. This would be his second dock villager as well. Made a third fishing ship. Okay. I'm almost feudal age. If he's up the same time. Investing two villages here. Oh, I took a hit. I have weight. My eco balance behind this has been very poor. Like, I should have been able to. Ah, took another hit there as well. It's probably building a second dock, I would imagine. I think we're fairly close. Let's hope he doesn't scout my range. I'm probably stretching my equal too much here as well. Don't have the wood upgrade either.
Oh, not like that. A range too, which means he's probably making. Uh, he could be making archers, I suppose. We'll try to drop a stable. Nice. I think we're off to a good start, all things considered. Still no wood upgrade though. Let's get it now. Good thing is we're also causing some issues on his land in terms of reactions. We need to snipe his fish. Yeah, he has more fish alive than us for longer. Ooh. And he has fletching. That's a yikes. Big yikes. Let's snipe my fish there. In that good of a start. We don't have that good of a start. At least he ate some arrows there. Let's bring the scout back to clean a bit. Oh no, Polish privilege here. Oh, I did make a blacksmith. Good job, me. Easter Eco is a right proper mess. I'll give you that. That kind of what's happen ha what happens on the map like this. We need to repair this guy. Sure, I don't have fletching yet. Still fine, I think. He has more farms up and running though, so his eco is probably better with that in mind. Although I do have... Like the score is just scouting, I believe. These arches are there. Probably gonna need a market here. Don't die. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, 
Yeah, our biggest weakness right now is simply lack of Uniko to go cast Lich. Oh, we got two villager kills there. That's pretty significant. We got the market first. That should also be pretty big. He has to go back with his arches now to deal with this. Very nice. Yeah. Let's do that. Getting up faster is probably more important here than anything else. Oh no, not to hide behind the dock trick. He loves to do that. It's a clever move. Because I don't know what he's doing. He's going behind the dock so that the fire from the make um, some mess. Do I need skirm? Is he up before me? Maybe. Uh, I fear that he's up before me. Actually, I do have one tower though. Might have to buy another. Yeah, a little bit worried that he's gonna be up before us. Oh no. Here we do have one more. Actually, he's attacking us before even hitting Cast Lage, so maybe he isn't up. Okay, I feel more comfortable now. And again, not giving up water, it's actually good for me. Then. He definitely has a better eco than us. If I had fletching here, uh, bot canaro, sorry, this could have been deadly. If only I had a demo. doesn't feel like we're in I think the score is a big, big mislead here At least we have a healthy-ish eco ourselves. Say that as I can't afford a lumber camp. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, it's not that healthy. I'll take it back. I'll take it back. Oh. So I want to commit her. It's got one relic in. I still have fish, which is the one thing that is still kind of keeping me. I think I'm in a somewhat comfortable spot. But I, if I could choose a player side right now, I would have chosen his every time. We have ballistics on our fish as well, which is quite nice. On our crossbow. Nice. Okay, now our goal is to try and do some counter damage on him. An extra town center. Did not check his upgrades. Should have checked his upgrades. Yes. Actually, huge. Be monks for free. And we're getting villager kills. Giving us a. Uh, a little bit of a way back into the game, I think. Adding multiple stables. We have ballistics here, so... Did I eat the tea? No, my arm is there. Okay, that's good. Okay, where, where do I have idols? Let's fix that. Where is he converting? Oh. Okay, he lost another monk. Those knights have... Ah, oh, they didn't get the kill. I need to fix my eco right now. My eco is the worst part of everything. I need to group up my monks. With my other stuff. What, did he take the relic in the middle? Or did I take it? Hope I took it. But if I did, I don't remember. We do have 97 villagers. Which is also very healthy. Let's 
Still only has plus one armor. Oh, not the fish. Next question now is tech switch. Do I tech switch? Probably should not be making only crossbows as Persians. Here's like a couple of stables added. Would not hurt nobody. Did I really not get a conversion there? Yeah, I believe he is. Ooh, that's a ballsy castle for him. I fear that he is probably up already. Maybe I should have made that castle a bit more safe. This is throwing away a lot of his knights now in a transition, so maybe it can also give me a small hope that maybe he wasn't isn't actually up. At least not yet. Oh, what's happening? No, oh, light production has begun. have survived this, these raids from him fairly well. Getting some really good raids on him as well. He yeah, has a barrack. Interesting. Nice. I'm not happy to play against like this. It's a very good unit that I do not appreciate very much. Maybe I need helps. Oh, my dear. 
Okay. Curious to see where this game goes. He is adding halberdiers. Oh. I did text. I changed my control boost too fast. I didn't produce now for a while. We're getting some really healthy raids. Oh, the timing, if I just went there a little bit earlier. Man, trust me guys, the last thing you want in your economy are like this. They kill villagers so goddamn fast, it's not even funny. Just have elite like this as well. Wallet. Thank you. Stop killing my things. Why are my traps shooting the that thing? My population isn't looking too shiny anymore. We did get some raids on him as well, but I think his tech now is just too strong. He also has Halberdier. I think I was trying to do too much in the opening. It backfired. I went double dock range without blacksmith. Should have just gone single dock or double dock without the range and then out of range later. So I set my food equal a little bit too far back. And Imperial Age is way favored for Lithuanians, so I should have taken a bit more risk maybe in mid cast Age. I took risk in early Feudal Age, it didn't pay off. All right, this was his first Civ pick though, and we are delayed pick, so it's not too bad. Felt like he could have pushed back an input needed helps. Yeah, maybe I needed to go helps earlier. I, I was too focused on making Hussar and Knights. Elite Light is the word, no, like even, you feel like even with Halberdiers, unless you have like 40 helps, you don't feel like, um, the light is our, that easy to counter. All right, what maps do we have here we can pick from? Uh, let's go Atacama. Where I think he will use Huns, but I'm not sure. Yeah, in, in opening should have been straight helps. All right, bye chat. More Huns as expected. And I'm not still not sure what his Arabia Civ is. Could be Byzantines. Yeah. See the deer right away, we see a boar. And find a woodland. Okay. <laughs> okay. So boar and sheep should be on oh there's a second boar. But our sheep should be here and they are. So now we just go push deer. Go for the berries. And yeah, I'll probably go through ledge, scouts. I might add a barracks still just because Lankimer scout war without spears is always awkward. Both offensively and defensively. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 
Maybe we should prioritize the deer. Because I'm like, I'm, I should be able to click Feudlage in 2 3 population. So if I prioritize the deer earlier, I can rather find my sheep later. Because everyone is pushing deer anyway. So there's not really a great argument for why I should look for my sheep first when everyone else are pushing deer anyway. It might be more effective to push the deer first, is what I mean. For your food income. I think I have to do an hour village here. Maybe open scout and then add or stable and add barrack later. Might not need. Bit indecisive. Okay. You know where his base is, our barracks is towards him, so that's fine. Barracks are there as well. He's a bit late up. He has double blacksmith, a uh, double lumber camp. Stable. Don't think he has found my base yet. Now he has. I'm just sitting there with my spears currently because if his scout comes forward, it might take that path. Ah, uh, he was looking though. Got him! That's a great start. Very good start. Big my economy, as usual. Oh, SSM! Ooh, got, I got some free hits there. That was still very good for me. You could add a range here. The initiative is already so clearly in our favor that a range follow up would be quite deadly. Let's 
scouts are also staying at home. <laughs> He's playing with fire. Uh, missing scouts for free. Power there could have been sick, actually. I think we'd rather get other numbers. Uh, we're not afraid of counterattacks, are we? I don't think so. If anything, this Spearman reveal should force a tower from him. Tower taking his berries. Yeah, yeah. A big success. Okay. Yeah, let's go down. That's where his hold is. You can only afford one tower. He's making a lot of scouts though. I guarantee he has already queued a, a lot of scouts in his uh, stable because he has to commit. He cannot not commit. Mm, I think we can still escape here. So hard for him to play this. Oh. Did I eat a TC or something? So I feel like I had three archers. I don't have three archers anymore. Yeah, this is a, like I said, a very awkward situation for him. I'm doing Bloodlands as well. No, 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 no. Oh, he was going on stone. Ah, oh, I never scouted the stone. Yikes. That's pain. They got tower behind his woodline would be deadly as well. Oh, why did I not pay attention here? Maybe he's just trying to get to Castledge? I should still be with so much damage taken that I should, even if I try to play catch up now for Castledge, I should still be. In a serious lead. Farm snipe. And mark it as well. This is where I can argue that. Me making a forward tower would have sealed the deal. Instead of... Not. There's been so many bills around the TC though. 
Okay, that's to be expected. Should've made a house on the other side. Maybe I send my... Scouts home to clean it up. As long as his scouts are there, there's no threat in my base. Don't need to send all of them. Did he just use the market now to go... Castlage? I thought it was already up, and now he was just using the market to like make sure he can make knights or something. But looks like maybe he used the market to go up, which means that I might even be faster to cast Lich. Range? Oh, he's trying to go cow arches. Ah. Yeah, just... Double stable now. I might go elephants actually. GG. Just good aggression. Worked out. Oh, he was actually overchopped here. That's why the villager ended up here. Elephants would have sealed the deal. He only has one range here. Yeah. I think the range follow up was uh, really good. Good thing as well is that this was his home map, so. Can't complain. All right, boys, time to bring Malay back. You guys know what I always said, Malay is the best Civ on Arena. That was before Burgundians was released, but I believe. All right, bye chat. Malay, time to shine. Who is Burgundians? They know no Bohemians. All oh, true, Burgundians are banned. I believe in the Malay, folks. You gotta believe as well. Malay are the best. Arena Civ. <laughs> Let's see if I remember how to play Malay. Might not. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, well, that's fine. We won't form with anyway. Beauty of Arena, just making all your villages work efficiently. As long as you can, or as efficiently in the dark age as you can. Question as well, do we need a second lumber camp on arena? With this nine villagers start. I don't know. It's been so long. I gotta keep this day here all the way until the boar is eaten. It's gonna be annoying. But we're gonna do it anyway. Yeah. 
Where are you going? Oh, not this way. Okay, that's fine. Ah! No! <laughs> Should be fine. I didn't want to eat it anyway. I wasted so much time. I think I used to prefer going fast feudal age. I'm not sure if I like the build I'm going for. I don't think I want to be out on the map either. So she might hit few ledge before me. There can't be enough gold income. Yeah, it should be. Should be fine to afford stable and range a uh, stable market. Should be. No, I wasn't ready. Wanna leave it open? Ha! Ah. Ha! <laughs> Got him! Might have a scout on the way already though, so... Gotta be a little bit careful here. For a spear even. Oh! Northern villager. Oh. <laughs> That's fine. We went for a fairly quick feudalage, but I think his castage seems pretty late now, right? Maybe he's just gonna play for the late game here, thinking that Bohemians can't lose on the Lion Imp. Could be. Yeah. 
One gold. It's a full HP scout. Which means he definitely has monks. Oh, he took this relic already. Let's say already. Took this relic. Now the contention is on the top left relics. We have one relic so far. I would like to get four. I think it's doable. I did in invest sizable amounts. Hello, thank you. Yeah, we're gonna buy another hundred stone and do uh, another town center. Data barracks as well, that's very good for us. So we did invest a lot, or let's say a lot, he did invest a sizable amount into trying to get relics, and I ended up with four. So we cannot complain about the start. We are of course still worried about Hufnitze long term. Do atonement. Oh, it's going hand cannon in Castledge. I'm gonna go crossbow in Castledge. Guess what counters crossbow? Uh, hand cannon Kind of. Maybe he wanted me to not see it, but I saw it. If I can get tank in this here. Hello? Hello? Oh, I converted the same. Oh. That's a bit unfortunate.
That can be annoying though. No, no Lumon Bill. It's gonna have bomber cannons as well, though. Or mangonos. You know what? I should have just gone imp. The investments I'm making here are way too many. Siege tower? Well, that's good for me. I thought it was gonna be, uh, cause I already have ballistics. I think siege tower is a big mistake by him. Good, good, uh, fun attempt though. Cause he doesn't have mangonos now to deal with my arbalest. That's very likely going to be a mango now. Ram? I can just go after him. It's gonna need a mango real fast. I'm just focus on the villagers. I will lose my army here, but I'm gonna be imp soon. So I still think that was all worth it for me. He's been making hand cannons. I'd imagine his imp shouldn't be there already. But I could be wrong on that. So you can pick up any reinforcements. Look, he's not paying attention here. That means I wasn't paying attention there. So it goes both ways. No, not those. Not those bad boys. Why am I pulling villagers to fight? To fight the... The thing. Not like it's scary. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
What? Kill it! Okay. <laughs> Almost lost it. Yeah, big mistake, but it was not doing chemistry all this time. Thanks for showing me where you were. Yeah, I think. I think it's too risky by me to go. For a forward castle. Switch into Karambas, by the way. I think they can't finish this in style. Okay, castle down. Now he's gonna have access to... What's the word? He has access to bomber cannons right off the bat. So we're really gonna need a big... Swarm. Okay. He's already out. As expected. And not with these bomber cannons. So I was taking my. What is my. Uh... Can't really engage this yet. This is very awkward. Taking what's what could be considered my gold. Probably have too many wills even. It would do me a favor if he killed some. Get him. Oh, doesn't look like he could afford. What's the word? Of Nietzsche yet, at least. Bring the traps straight. Uh, let's just go straight for. Actually, no. Let's not fight where he has. If needs already. Keep on. We have four relics as well, so a big part of this game is also just outlasting his uh, his resources. Stay up two minute bills for sure. What? They're supposed to lower speed. No, get it! No! No! Twice! He has hoof, he has hoof needs now, though.
Does he have the range upgrade? He does not. Still gotta think we're in a very, very good position. Oh, I never picked up the relics. Oh no. What we're doing good here as well, I think, is we're taking away his... I mean, I'm trying to say. He is making units that I have no problem dealing with on paper. We have a lot of resources. It's not be that ballsy. His army isn't with his with Mitsu though. So I can dive my Karambits. I can dive with everything. Uh, probably not under the Mm, maybe this is not the best idea. We are killing Eco though. I mean, as long as I get the castle, I guess it's fine. Mm. I'm not sure if these overall are still good trades for me. I think they're fine. Losing a lot of ground here. But who needs a man? Ooh, that was close. No kill. Got one. You guys still have too many wheels. There's no resource on the map that I don't have control of. Is he not paying attention? <gasps> oh. yeah, that should be a dead one. No! <laughs> he went for his skirms. Let's try to dodge. Okay, it looks like we're about to have an overwhelm here. Unless he killed another. Ooh. A lot of my skirms, again. Yeah, let's just work on his seed workshops. Oh, you know what I should do? I should target his Hankin nurse. Oh, oh boom! <laughs> I can do that too, man, even though I don't have Hufnitsa. Now he doesn't have units to defend anymore. E to the G. Guys, I already always told you guys, Malay are the best on Arena. Yeah, I also had four. Oh, I still didn't pick up the relics. So much relic gold missed. But the good thing is, he thinks I picked them up. That's the biggest part here. As long as he thinks I have four relics. <laughs> like I, He has one to four relics and he almost had the same gold. Yikes. I have no idea what he's going for there. Very confusing. Byzantines, Arabia, Spain, Gold Rush. That's what I'm thinking, but even that is not that convincing, right? But maybe. Bye, chat. Spanish and Gold Rush, okay. This is probably Byzantines and Arabia. Spanish against Poles. <laughs> What do I play here? Not the most pretty lumber camp, but okay. Obviously his long-term goal is conquistadors no matter what here. 
Rozkazania. Witam. Ognie zwierzyna. Rozkazania. Tak. Question is just if he opens scouts or not, or if he goes straight conks. I guess we can go fast fuel and adapt from what we see. Like if he is going stable, I can go stable. If he just goes fast castle, I'll just go fast castle and play like skirm, monk or something. We'll do it like that. Rozkazania. Gotów jestem. Sprawiecz. Tak, jestem sprawiaczką. Witaj. Głownie zwierzyna. Gotów jestem. Tak. Pojmuję. Witaj. Głownie zwierzyna. Gotów jestem. Natychmiast wykonam. Gotów jestem. Witajcie. Tak. Rozkazania. Rozkazania. Tak. Gotów jestem. Głownie zwierzyna. Głownie zwierzyna. Głownie zwierzyna. Tak. Głownie zwierzyna. Let's do 20 pop up. No loom, maybe? With poles, we also have. Villages regenerating, so. We're a bit less afraid. But I think we'll need loon. So yeah, we'll make a barracks on the way up, but we won't commit on a range or stable before we know what he's doing. That's pretty much the game plan. Maybe we'll go like men arms forward and towers or whatever. Hard to tell. Okay, keep in mind, if he gets to Conquistadors, which is not impossible, maybe I should go forward on him. I think it's a bit late to commit on that now, but that would have been probably a good option. But yeah, if you get to Conquistadors on this map, they are great. Is that his stone? Looks like one of his stones. We see his main stone forward as well. Maybe we'll just blindly commit on scouts from the get go. Is he already fully walled? Am I feeling that right? Okay. Guess we're gonna go fast castle. He's is probably here. Damn, he's already fully walled. Okay. Yep. Super easy wall to be fair. So can't blame him. But don't think I mind this. I think we can match his cast this time, probably. Maybe. Holes are magic. Could have also tried to go straight for castle drop and straight for straight for might spam. 
I think that's too ambitious against conks because knights aren't necessarily good against conks. Could be my guess with him as well. What if he just opens knights? And there I am. I am making skirms. I just want any information. I mean, oh, both his golds were exposed. I should have sent something or made some units. Probably on that one. Yep. Four on gold. Let's open there still. All OHP villagers, good. This is very blind though. Very blind and just assumption based on his civilization. There is a chance that an approach like this backfires. My skirms get there in time, I win the fight. Oh, let's go. And where's the, why is he going back? Oh, I accidentally clicked the auto scout. So what's scary is Mangonels in combination with this. That's where it gets scary. So we want to look for any potential four villagers. Four villager there would make sense. Not yet, but soon. Okay, it's a little bit early. No, I lost the stone. First monk was one shot. Not the best start. First skirm was one shot. Not the best start. Second monk. Okay, at least we got that one. He has to commit now, that's good. Nice. Okay, we traded off there. I think I'd rather do another forward instead of another town center right now. 
Oh, we have a good unit to look for or potentially pick up a sneak as well. Why don't we do ballistics as well before another town center? We don't have to, but I feel like I can be a bit more aggressive if I do. I would like to be a bit more active with my units. Nice. Nice. We have ballistics as well now, so whenever conks come around, it's gonna be amazing for us. Why are we not finding a relic on the top? I do have redemption on the way. This is scary now. Not bad. I do have ballistic, sir. See, even now, we're not necessarily trading amazing. Oh, that's a huge find. Absolutely huge. That's why he's taking these fights. Because he wants to clear my army. So yeah, that's a disaster for him. Yeah, it's over. That is a big fat GG, ladies and gentlemen. Just shocked I didn't find a relic on the top side. Maybe it's there. Oh, Best thing of, of everything is that we have done all of this with one range defense. 
Yeah, I think I want to cast on the hill. Just simple. He's still very much in an all-in position. He has to make things happen now. We only have 30 on now. No. Is my relic walling? I feel like my relic might be walling that. <laughs> yeah, it might be. Eh, whatever, we'll grab the relics later. Is it walling? <laughs> Calculated. <laughs> oh, I love it. No, no. Oh, he really it feels like he has to do things. I better just play, add some Arbalest. I was thinking about adding Cavalry, maybe? I feel like Arbalest might be the safer, because he, if he mixes in Knights or whatever. Okay. Oh, this is fine. I have a cast on him. Super desperate, obviously. So my castle is even more perfect. Because I will also get to hit his stuff. Yeah, it's so desperate. He knows he has to do damage. Yeah, that's probably game. Pulse just feels so good, man. Just run past. Even if he switches and tries to add knights now, it's we're already at the stage where it should be too late, no matter what. Yeah, it's going to add light cap, but I already have Arbalest switch going on. Whoa, 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 boys. Listen, listen, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. We could do a castle there, make a castle creep, kind of. Wait, what's happening here? Yeah. He's trying, but it's just not enough. Probably has a somewhat healthy eco behind us now at this stage. Even then, yeah, it's just it's gonna be such an uphill battle. 
All right, I think that was a perfect. We read the game perfectly, and we just responded perfectly. It wasn't very complicated. I mean, obviously, it has an impact to, to with the same matchup as well. It was really lucky with the first Conquistadors. They killed my monk instantly, but then the second one where I my monk survived and I converted one from him, and he lost his. Whenever you lose one or two units at the start of something like that, it's such a snowball situation. It's really hard to come back. There was one relic, and there was one. Okay. Slight eco difference. We're played by him, to be honest, defeated by one range skirms with no light cap. It wasn't only that, though. He was adding mangonels and such at the end, right? But I already I did redemption monks at the right time. It all kind of was just, how to say, it all... Maybe it's just Paul's economy being so good, but I felt like I could afford all the reactions I needed exactly when I needed them. So he never got off to the scary potential... Um, yeah, just like Conquistador, Mangonel, uh, Snowball. He has a Japanese, and it's going to be really hard to deal with. Did you and Debbie cut each other's hair during the lockdown? No. It's just uh, the place I'm going to is fairly popular, I would think. Or in general, they don't have too many haircut saloons. I mean, there are a lot of drop-in saloons around. I could go and get one, but I have a one I'm going to all the time. I'm just gonna keep going there. Ooh, wait. Can't afford this. Lions, you have to do them. Maybe I didn't have to do it if I didn't go with the mill instantly, but... Here we are. I have the eagles, I might just go and attack his mill, actually. Since we have... Loom already. Don't see a mill from him, though. Crocodiles are one on each side, that's fine. Why is he out not in the middle yet? He's Japanese. Starting to suspect that he's going for a dock. I don't like it. Maybe I do like it. Oh no, this is the wood area. Oh, I went the wrong way. No. No. Shit. That's bad. That's good. He's probably gonna find my stuff as well. Oh, this is a single villager. He could try and attack it. Yeah, he's probably finding my two sheep because I haven't found them myself. He has no mill here either, so it, at this point I feel like it has to be the dock. I don't like that my gold is so far forward. Is he not doing dock either? Was I just really unlucky in scouting for his mill? Got a possibility here? I feel like that's probably what happened here. Oh my god, when did that come up even? We will abandon the fish at some point. So we cannot defend against his men arms opening. Oh, he was trying to bait me. Oh. He's trying to bait me to the crocodile. And then the villager pathing made it happen anyway. 
Have to sacrifice him. Forward tower. Probably lose one villager. We have to decide which one. I guess we'll go for her. Let's pull these guys away. Last. Okay. This is tower is there, so I don't have to worry about a tower right away. Do I lose this? Shit. Hello. Okay, he went back. Oh, you yeah, upgraded my arms. He's probably planning to come forward tower on my gold. I think that's a very easy, safe assumption to make. He doesn't have fletching. I have to decide how I want to uh, decide how I want to deal with this. Once he has armor for his skirms, this becomes a very hard hold for me. I was just checking in. Here comes the villagers for the forward. Yeah. Have a skirmish already. Have multiple skirmishes ready. We're supposed to attack those. Oh. oh, my sheep. This feels pretty much over over there. I probably should have done maybe double range or a tower at least on my gold. No matter what, what I went for is definitely not the right thing. Yeah, probably tower the gold at least to be safe. Then he can always come and tower me from the other side. He also had already army prepared early on. Uh, like skirms everywhere to be safe. Yeah, there's the tower. I think I'm just gonna go for a hallelujah. Pull all the bills thing. 
My tower is helping. Oh, got a tower there. Oh, he actually has army on the other side. Ah, shortfish, shortfish is too much to overcome here. Can't really afford double range either. I think just abandon the middle completely, tower up the gold, and just play double range like standard. Don't don't even worry about the middle. Just realize that you're gonna he's gonna have an amazing food eco, and then just try to do something about it or like try to play maybe double range archer skirm. Maybe even take stones I can tower. I mean I have an easy wall. How is there? Wall this, wall this, tower on my gold, take stone to get a second tower there. I think we died to a castle this time anyway. <laughs> Look at that. Sick. 800 more food. Village count is the same though. I mean, yeah, no, you probably died to the cast age timing. But I still think that might be the best way to try. There should be Franks and Byzantines, right? Wait, do I take a risk and go Portuguese here? Or what am I saying? I have Saracens as well. I random Saracens. Another option is to take a risk and go Portuguese here. But then if I lose, I have a shit sieve for the reeds. Okay, probably not. Now, if, guys, Doc doesn't work either. Okay, I need to hide chat, by the way. Uh, Doc doesn't work either because you're... The dock will be harassed from, from uh, land. So when everything is said and done, sure your land might be somewhat stable, but uh, he will have shorefish and you won't even have uh, dock, your dock ships. Uh, it also slows down your feud age. So I don't think the rewards you can get from having a dock are is worth it. It's like it's it's not gonna be the success you might think. Found our sheep really early, so let's just do a little bit of a straight run across. Maybe we're lucky and run into his sheep. We could also be unlucky and run into his town center, but nah, of course not. Not that unlucky. Hopefully. I think we are circling around his base here. It does mean we're not pushing deer though. He is, because that deer pack only has two left. But then again, if he's not pushing, if he's pushing there, maybe he didn't find his sheep. Maybe he's scouting with sheep. Like this one. Yeah, he probably found this geese, goose. I don't really know where my deer are even. So what we're expecting from him is probably just spear skirm, maybe mana arms, maybe drush into uh, into something. Maybe just spear skirm, maybe spear archer, maybe uh, mana arms archer. We can kind of do a lot of things with Byzantines, and nothing will ever be wrong. Almost visited my TC. Oh, 
Chassé, Royal. Prêt, Chassé. Barreau. Bastista. I should be chasing a scout because I'm expecting to be up faster than him. So I could have killed the scout probably. He wants to forward me, he's Not much scouting information to do so. Oops. Alright, we're gonna need to add a range as well here. I thought the bird was a spearman. Soon. It's already walled that side. Is he already fully walled? Kinda looks that way. Damn, that was fast. Big walls as well. What? He's going scouts? Ah, he wants to play scout camel. Oh, he wants to play camel and uh, castlation and just have that be like our composition. But I'm gonna add. Mm, I'm gonna add archers then. We play crossbow knight. Oh. That hurts. No. Eating all those spears. Let's see if we can put some pressure. Oh, I have lowish pills here. Oh. Yeah, at least he added a range. And he's eating my town center with the spears. Still doesn't have fetching. So our archers can still be a bit annoying here. Huh? 
I'm just making a lot of skirms. Still no fletching. Okay, yes, fletching. The match not equal is better though, at the moment. Does not have armor? What's happening there? And by all means. I'll fight him since he has no armor. He is like we are fine. He doesn't things get tough to play against as the game goes on. But I think our cast this time should be faster. Could be wrong. Can't really break in anywhere though. If we want to try and synchronize an attack here, so maybe he doesn't notice. I want to hit with the spears there. Not yet, not yet. And now we fight on the front. Trigger a lot of alarm bells for him. Maybe he doesn't see. Don't think it worked. Maybe it worked actually. Oh, it didn't work. Is that a town center, by the way? Oh, yeah, there's something. That is screaming to be pressured. Already? Ooh. I have to be honest, I did not expect him to play double knight, double stable knights. One more. No. Okay, let's go. 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 Let
He does not have crossbow there. Why am I still producing crossbows? I don't want crossbows anymore. Our economy should still be better. I also have uh, light cav alive. I can try and pick up some monks. Oof, he has a lot. Does he commit? He actually commits. Wait, what's happening here? be sustainable going full nights against camels oh my turn to get caught off guard Tato, yikes! Hmm. Now this is very tough because... It has on paper a better in parallel sieve. So what is our combat tool here? I like what it did though, the castle switch to go um, stable. To be fair, I should have predicted it or seen it coming. It's not like it was that big of a surprise. Do I go Pikemen as Franks? I think I do. Still a lot of relics up for grabs. Run! What do I even play in him? Maybe I try a Cavalier Overwhelm. He's probably got the Monk Conversion Tech. What? 
I'm considering the, to still go night uh, cap. But he was going. Mangonal forward, I did not like or expect. See if he has. Uh, What's the upgrade called? Redemption? Uh, should not have happened here. Byzantine healing is something, isn't it? Good fight for us, but but also was it really? Trying to take some map control with this timing. We can take control of this area. And we might have a somewhat decent army to push with. Very good news that he's not imp yet. Switch. Run! Hang on, but boom! What did I not get a hit? Shoot! Oh, baby! to try and sneak and steal this relic. We have relic advantage there.
Oh, it's open. I would like to jump on those. Oh, yes, monks. That castle seems to be a guaranteed goner, kind of. I just don't know what tech to make right now, to be completely honest. Part of me feels like it has to be a paladin. He's using a lot of ills here still. I also snag my relics there. In fact, I would desperately try to get some raids on him to do damage. It's bad, but. I feel like I kind of have to. I feel like I don't have the time to get Paladin. Oh, they didn't commit! Finish it! One hit, one hit! Oh. Hmm. I like his Byzantine pick. Still hasn't taken that well. I could have had all relics here. What am I doing? Cancel bills, let's go Paladin. One final hurrah attempt. I'll try and make something happen. Maybe that's what I should have done from the start. Try to make a snowball happen with Paladin. Still have plenty of gold over there, to be fair. Pretty much have to max out on Paladin here. I'll lose that one as well. Maybe Axeman Paladin would have been the play. But then again, how do you afford that? It's usually a problem with these things. Shutting here as well. Doing a Halberdier switch as well. Well, Paladin is in. I only have like 17. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Looks like we're going to the ace game, which I think he has a better save, so that's gonna be really interesting. Oh, it's 28 idols? Yeah, that explains it. If I had all five relics and had a stable situation where I could go Axeman. Uh, Axeman. Paladin. That would have maybe been the play. And unfortunately, we're never really in that situation, were we? <laughs> I 
<laughs> in the middle of his barracks. <laughs> Trying to eat his stuff. I think he noticed now. It's not where he's supposed to go. This right here is why everyone hates to play against prison games. They're just good at everything. Still don't have the last attack upgrade. Alright, let's go! See, this is a good fight for us. I should have just gone for the Paladin power play from the start. Not faff about so much. It's not a good fight anymore. Now he can take this. Nice save pick by him. Was a good counter the way he uh, played Castle Castle opening as well. I think in hindsight I should have maybe made crossbow in Castle like stick with crossbow. I was too aggressive here as well. I wanted to go in and do damage, but he, I didn't expect him to have double stable knight. That was a clever tech switch by him. The other thing is, even when I saw that, I should have just started continued to make crossbow because his knights don't have bloodlines, and he was definitely gonna play camels. I think he should have picked Portuguese. Portuguese definitely a better late game, but I'm not sure if. Castledge or anything that would be so much more favorable for me. Well played to ACCM though. That was nice. Yeah, I think I had to go for Paladin Snowball from the start. I think that's the only chance you have in Imperial Age. Needed stone walls? No. Yes. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, Byzantines can counter almost anything if you play well, for sure. And he did. So Portuguese Turks in the ace game on this map. I think I would prefer Turks because Janissaries. But hello, we're Portuguese. What can go wrong? I'm gonna go straight to the middle. We'll go outside and find our sheep. Mm, we have a boar there as well. Not the best mill. But it will do. Of course, if I take control in the middle, I have a lot of berries that I can use. Yo, where are my sheep at? Bruv. So far. Oh, they start eating the other sheep. I'm doing a loom just in case he's gonna send those. After seeing that I was in the middle. He's not in the middle though. He's not yet. Oh, is it through here? He's that deer is running for some reason. I imagine it's still his scout that was there. Oh, his base is down here. Wow. That's so weird. I'm so close. I 
All right, we're gonna do like a semi tower archer play. I think. Trying to make something happen. If it defends well and gets to go straight for Janisters, it could be bad, but. Let's see, we can potentially put pressure on the outside as well. He has mid on the outside. Could do the range on the outside. Okay, fair enough. Relax, bro. Didn't know you felt so strongly about it. Okay, we got one villager. It's kind of okay. I really want to have the middle though. going there oh my god um. I think this is really bad for me. Oh shit. That village is trapped there as well. But, um. Uh, they might protect my economy is suffering. I don't know if food income he does. There's fetching as well. We're in a really bad spot. I should have had my scout as well in the middle to help out with the fight. We have to idle now. I think I need to cancel my will as well in order to do fletching. Oh, so much idle time. Getting a skirmisher. Trying to. 
Yeah, that fight has been going very good for us so far. That's pretty massive. Have to say. Eh. I'm losing too much. We did the armor. We are Portuguese though and we now have the berries. But still think much rather prefer oh we got, he wants to compete for it. It's fine. Trying to make him come into my tower range. But then again, I had nothing garrisoned. It's not like it helped anyway. Wait, I must have had something with my hotkeys, because I've been... I have been... What's the word? Not producing villagers for some reason. Not sure about these trades either. Yeah, that's ugly. It's actually in range. I'll let him idle his stuff. I need to get to Castlage, like just try my best to get there. Yeah, this is bad. The score is a lie, I don't believe the score. See if we can do anything on the outside. There are only two arches though. This is bad. So far, it doesn't look like he sent anything out to deal with this. And now he's sending archers. But that means I'm going to be exposed as well. Just run back. There are berries on the outside as well, aren't there? But the issue was that I had all my food income in the middle. So when he came and pushed me there, that meant that we had no income anymore. He seems to stay though. Just they choose such stupid paths. Oh, he lives. Nice. 
Estou pronto. Olá. Olá. Sim, estou pronto. Oh, Edmund, senhor as mãos. Ixi. Olha, eu acho que eu tenho que ir lá. Acho que Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I have so many lawyers prevails there. Oh, and he's not right into the perfect spot. Nicely done. Um, now what? Didn't kill those either. How the hell do we come back from this? Zero food income? No nothing. Oh, he has a knight as well. I think we have to say the words. Nice to to ACCM. Yeah, I became a little bit too wild. Probably needed some more food on the outside. Nice reaction by him though. The four militia was really caught me off guard. Yeah, it was good, good by him to keep Vils on the outside as well. So he went like outside food eco and then pushed with villagers inside that were not, he wasn't depending on. Well, I was entirely depending on the food economy I had in the middle. So it became way more painful for me to, uh, to lose the middle. Part, certain parts were sloppy, but also keep in mind that he's playing very well. So he's forcing mistakes for me. Ooh, 1500 more food, yikes. And he had 10 more Vils as well. We were far behind in Feudal Age. That was a nice comeback. We were up 3-1, so very nice comeback by him. Do you think commentating while playing takes away from your performance or it doesn't matter? Of course it has an impact, but I'd rather provide content in these events than not, right? Nice. Well played, ACM. It was a fun tournament. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.